Well, hey, YouTube, welcome back once again to the HDR's famous Route 66 camping trip. If you've been following along, great. Uh, if you missed the first four episodes, go back and watch those. This is a uh, documented trip here. So we are currently tearing down the HDR, HDR's bungalow and uh, packing it up in the car here, getting ready to go. Um, I'm going to spin this camera around now. Uh, remember, this is day number five. Day number five on the road. We're getting ready today. We're going to leave here and we're going to to uh, Kentucky. So we're heading into Kentucky. All right, let me show you the uh, tear down the camp here. All right, do you have anything to say about last night? Uh, much better sleeping on the mattress. Why was it much better sleeping? Because it was a different mattress. Different mattress. Yeah. Here's the other thing, though. I think their their night for Speak trains. Up. I think their night for trains is Wednesday. <laughs> My goodness, the trains last night was astronomically crazy. But so Miss HR is pulling the stakes for the tent. You can see we got the uh, easy up is gone. It's over there in the bag already. But uh, this is fun part or the devastating part of camping. Honestly, this is the part you got to tear down. Yeah, but. Um, so we are getting everything tore down. We're still brewing coffee here. We just talked about making breakfast, but we think we're going to just eat on the road. Um, and we think we're going to... Here's the inside. You can see the tent's pretty big. That's the new air mattress we bought. Of course, now I got all the air sucked out of it. But um, Anyway, that's that part of it. Here's our little table we brought with us with our... See, you don't have to rough it. There's an electric coffee maker. Power cords, chargers all over the place for all the gear. You know how that goes. If you're a vlogger of any kind. Look at that. Miss HR, I want to be on camera with, without her hair done, without I makeup. Know. That yeah, is, you guys got a treat there. I might yeah. title this video, you're No Makeup. Uh... <laughs> no Makeup. I'll title that video, so. Okay, one last note there. If you guys work at Walmarts, if you're around Walmarts, if you, um, whatever. Amazon shopping is great, but like I told Miss HR, this air mattress, we bought the first one and it wouldn't hold air. So it just wouldn't hold any air. So instead of us uh, worried about that, what we did was we took it back. They exchanged it for us, gave us a, a gift card, and I was able to buy a new air mattress, which was way better, way better. We actually got a really good night's sleep last night until something was walking around the campsite clicking i don't know if it was a possum or what it was but it didn't get into our garbage so all right guys we'll see you on the road we got to tear down here okay youtube we made it to the laurel ingles wilder laurel laura ingles wilder now if you don't know who this was this is the person that actually wrote the books that the little house on the prairie was uh, created after see where the little house books were written so we're at her historical home the, the woman and she was also her name was used as one of the characters on the little house on the prairie if you remember she was a second daughter the, the middle daughter so and uh, her dad used to call her half pint and this is where we're at Mrs. HR is already up there uh, so we're going in as it's a museum and uh, it's supposed to be our home. Now, I don't know if the home is featured out back or what, but if they let me film something in there, I will. If not, then obviously we won't. But anyway, so we're going to go in there and take a look. We are in Mansfield, Missouri right now. Mansfield, Missouri. Okay, folks, this is called the Stone House. The rock house. This is called the rock house, and this is the house that Rose Wilder had built for Laura and Almanzo Wilder, her mom and dad. We're going inside. We cannot take you inside again, but you can come here and check it out for yourself. So I just want to show you the outside of it, and then uh, we're going to check it out. Okay, well, that was the end of the tour of the Rock House. They lived here for, how many years was it? Like seven? Yeah, seven, between seven and eight. 1928 to like 1936. 
then they rented it and then they sold the house off then the historical society that's here now uh, after it went through two different cells bought it back so they own yeah the rock house and uh but uh very interesting place you know it's just interesting to see history and myself and miss hr was talking we thought little house on the prairie was a fictional story made up from some writers you know in in california but um apparently by her. That's what apparently it's not true these yeah made up by her but these are all her life stories uh, so it makes them very uh interesting um her daughter also was a very well-known well-published writer and a journalist so and they said she was also the first and only well years ago i guess the first female real estate agent in california so that had her license so that's pretty interesting all right, we're going to get out of here and get on the road. We were just talking. We're not going to be able to ride 400 miles today, in the, even in the car. It's just not going to – we won't get to our destination until 9 o'clock tonight. So, uh, But we want to get out of here, get moving down the road, and uh, we'll see you somewhere there before we sign off. All right, guys, this is what you find on two-lane back roads of America, this bridge. This is one heck of a big bridge you're going to ever river. There's supposed to be a ferry down there somewhere that will take you into Kentucky from Missouri, but we don't know where that's at. You're not sure? I'm not sure. There's Miss Sejar. She's still driving along here. She's been doing a really good job today. I don't think you can see the ferry. I don't know where it's at. Yeah, those are all barges down there right now. Yeah, look at this bridge. This is massive here. It's pretty big. We're, right now, we're trying to make our way to Kentucky. We don't really make plans on trips like this. We have destinations. We have ideas of what we'd like to do. And then we just point the car or the motorcycle in that direction and go. Look, his bridge is still going. I know. I don't know where we're going. Well, we're going to go on another bridge. Yeah, we got to go the other way. Turn right onto Great River Road. This is Route 60 coming out Great of Missouri. Great River Road. All right. Here's our second bridge we're coming up on. Scary. <laughs> Try to see how tall it is here. We're going over the Ohio River. Yes, we're crossing the Ohio River. A lot of barge traffic down here. Barges everywhere. I guess we went from trains to barges. Hopefully barges oh, don't have train. horns. Water's choppy down here today. I don't know if you can see the water. It's a little choppy. It might be from where the boats are going through. I don't know. I cannot speculate. Oh, jeez. That's my word for the day. Nice speculation. 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 The idea of assuming something. Shouldn't assume either. Alright. Alright, we're still getting over this bridge. Coming out of the harbor. We're not sure what that was down there. If that's smoke. That's probably a guy on a tractor. Yeah, it might be a guy on a tractor. We've seen a lot of that for sure today. Beautiful out here though. Lots of people on tractors. Beautiful scenery. Lots of flat. Yes, we did get around the Mark Twain Forest. We'd recommend if you're ever in that area, make sure you stop at the Mark Twain Forest. We we did not, however. Uh -oh. We're coming into Kentucky right now. Billard County. Here's Kentucky right here, folks. And welcome to Kentucky. To Kentucky. We've been a lot of states in a few days, I'll tell you that. Welcome to Kentucky. <laughs> welcome to Kentucky. And what are you Very looking stock. for? What are you looking for in Kentucky? I don't know. She always looks for moonshine. You want a steak? I want a steak. Whiskey. Kentucky whiskey. All right. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this video for day number five. 
We hope that you enjoyed Laura Ingalls Wilder, her home, uh, her, a lot of the history about it, <clears throat> a lot of history about where the Little House on the Prairie came from. And I know, folks, a lot of you uh, out there, well, I can't speak for the ones not watching because you're not enjoying the videos because you're not watching them. Uh, for those of you who are watching, I know it's lame that we're out here without a motorcycle, and this is a motorcycle channel, but we wanted to share our vacation with everybody, and we hope that you're enjoying it. Uh, and if you are enjoying it, you know what? Share this video out. Share this series out on your channel. Share it out on your social media. Uh, get more people to get involved and watch this for sure. If you're here simply for the history of the Little House on the Prairie, then thank you. You know, please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And stop back. We do a lot of exciting traveling and we do a lot of uh, motorcycle riding to destinations. So thanks everybody. Myself and Miss HR is going to head down, jump in a hot tub for a while, loosen up these old bones of ours. Well, my old bones, her young bones, you know what I mean. Take care and remember, ride your own ride, be safe out there. Mr. and Miss HR will be down and out in the beautiful state of Illinois, right across the bridge from Kentucky. See you for day number six. Bye for now.